here's an 85 millimeter cup holder I'm showing it a, in a transparency mode right now in SolidWorks and uh, I'm going to be getting into the uh, simulated print here in just a second here's a simulated print of it this is how it will be printed on a 3D printer and uh, shows a few details of the layers and how long it will take now we're going to get into it I'm starting with a top plane drawing and I'm drawing the inner and outer diameters of the cup holder I'm extruding it now now I'm sketching off the face of it I'm going to add another uh, another level of it and going to extrude that off of the face and there that is so it's uh, two inner dimensions there IDs and now I'm closing up the bottom with a three millimeter thick surface and next I'm going to sketch a uh, rectangle off the side of it and I'm going to be using that as a sketch plane because I want to put an angled uh, holder onto it so there's my there's my straight line then I'm going to come off of that at an angle and I've measured that to be um, about 13 millimeters over the over the run and so I'm going to sketch off of that line there and make a rectangle at that angle and then I'm going to select that surface and start sketching the hole the mounting hole off of that surface and that'll give me the proper angle that I'm looking for so there we go now I'm going to um, now that I've got the dimensions on it I'm going to extrude it in two dimensions fore and aft and it'll become like a 3D rectangle making it a little longer and later I'll come back and trim that flush with the cylinder so there's the extrusion process and so now I'm going to select that face right there and you can see it's at an angle I'm going to got a center line going there and I'm going to do a 13 point something 13.1 millimeter hole extruded cut all the way through there and that's the mounting angle that I want and see now I'm going back and cutting it flush on the top and the bottom and then I'll join those two pieces together I'll do a sketch here and then uh, extrude that into the cell into itself so there's the sketch I'm extruding it into itself unfortunately it goes into the hole so I've got to go back in there and clean that up see it halfway blocked my mounting hole so I'll have to go back and figure out how to clear that and I think what I end up doing is sketching off that angle again with another rectangle get a plane and then uh, extrude that hole right now I'm trying to figure it out there's always uh, you know hundreds of ways to do the same thing but I tend to just do the things that I've uh, that I know work for me and so what I'm going to end up doing I think is selecting that face drawing another yeah there he is I'm selecting the face I'm gonna draw a rectangle off of that face there it is and I'm gonna extrude that and then I'm going to go back and select that angled that face right there and then go over to the side and draw the circle there and extrude it cut through 
And I'm sure there's a, a, a better way to do it with a plane, but I, I never did establish a plane, so, so I just tend to just use faces of, uh, divi of uh, parts that I draw. But anyway, I got the hole cleared out, and now I'm going in and uh, I'm thinking about adding some extruded post, and I think I'm going to decide I don't want them after I after I take a look at it. I feel like I may not need them. And so I get rid of that altogether. Now I'm just doing, uh, going back and rounding up the, rounding off the design, putting the the fillets in, just giving some curves and smoothing out the rough edges, the hard edges. And so when you see this going on, you know, you're basically at the end of the design where you're just going in there and and cleaning up the edges and making it, uh, you know, I'm chamfering that and rounding the bottom. Of course, when I 3D print that, I'll have to sand that a little bit. And I'm going in and... Uh, boring a hole in case I want to put a a uh, post through that to lock it at a different height so I'm going to go ahead and get one hole established that'll also give it a lot of strength because that's gonna that hole is going to be reinforced all the way through to the cup at an angle and that'll give it some more rigidity and right now I'm just deciding how far to go with the hole, I'm thinking, well, maybe I should go all the way to the bottom, and then, eh, maybe not. End up deciding not to. And now I'm just checking my dimensions. 85 millimeter ID, that's what I'm looking for. Now here's uh, the actual part being 3D printed. And um, uh, it's being printed in black. It doesn't take long to do it. Of course, I have to uh, go back and clean up the brim part you see on the bottom where it's attached to the glass. 